Ryan Priest scored his first career pole at Martinsville, and Stuart Haas Racing brought four very fast Fords to the racetrack. A lot of laps led, but in the end, only two of their four cars could finish inside the top 10. I think when we look back at Martinsville, it's not gonna be the 10, it's not gonna be the four, it's gonna be the 41 that everybody feels the worst for. Ryan Priest looked like he was gonna have a career day. Sat on the pole, dominated stage one, led every single lap, led every lap in stage two until a yellow, in which he got caught speeding on pit road. Yeah, it was a tough situation in pit stall one. There's a lot we'll break down in this piece, but um, you know he, he recovered from it, tried to beat the guys out to the camera line, ended up speeding here. Yeah, didn't try to beat him out. He beat him out. He beat him out to the camera line, but you kind of gave us a sneak ahead. So let's take a look at Martinsville. You mentioned pit stall one. Okay, this is an old picture of Martinsville. Let's just kind of go through it all so everybody sees. Here's the pit outline, right, Todd? Keep me yeah. honest. This is the old front of pit stall one, right here. That's the distance you used to have to have. It used to be around 50 or 60 feet. This year, this is now the front. Look at this white line on the pit road right here. That is the front of pit stall one. In COVID, they removed a couple pit stalls, gave everybody a little bit more space. Pit stall one is actually a pit stall further back than it used to be. That makes a difference, as well as some of the angles of where the lines are. There's timing loops that NASCAR uses. They, it's all electronic on how they come out with pit road speed and where your transponder crosses. There's a timing loop here in uh, ab about the middle of where pit stall one was, and there's one just before this line because your transponder's in the back of the car. So when your nose hits the line, it's gonna trip that. But as you see, those two lines are not parallel. It's because we're going around a corner here, and being in pit stall one and the trajectory that the 41 used going inside of those other two cars, he took the short distance on that. I think got him in trouble. So if we go back to the replay and we just start on it frozen for a minute, their theory was we could go as hard as we want. We're going to leave this pit stall one and we're going to go straight out to this line right here and not have an issue. Two things. I think they would want to go towards the orange box. That's more of an angle. That's a little bit longer way. The second thing, as you mentioned, this pit stall being a little bit farther back. Years ago, there was no chance you could speed in this stall. A little bit more of a head start. And the other issue is we play this forward a little bit. You're going to see when they get three wide, it forces the 41 to stay left. Now his line to the yellow line right here, look how direct it's gonna be. It's not out where we thought he was gonna go. He has to go really, really straight to the yellow line, shortening that distance. Uh, now NASCAR takes that into a calculation if you run the arc, but if you go straight to it, and you can see how much he gassed it up, uh, it's almost a math problem gone bad, really. Because look, I'm not gonna pick on the 41. If we thought we could go as hard as we would, we would absolutely tell our driver to. Just a miscalculation by the race team. It was obvious between the bigger tires, the gearing, and that extra rolling from the moving back of pit stall one, just too fast for the 41. Yeah, definitely a situation where it culminates in three things. And the amount of traction you make with this tire and the wider tire this car has impacts some of that as well. But the moving back, I think, is a big thing. Todd, we're spending a lot of time focusing on this because it was such a great weekend for Ryan Priest. He looked like he might be on his way to his first ever career cup win. And if you want to learn more about Ryan Priest and his journey back to the Cup Series, catch Making the Main, an in-depth profile, new episode each Wednesday on NASCAR's YouTube channel.